Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I'm going to show you something that I don't always show, um, so I'll show it. I had a request asking me to show structural members of a building, so I do. However, what they wanted was a public space or a bridge or something. However, I don't have anything quite like that quite yet, but it, it's coming. Don't worry about it. It's coming. I do have one of a house though, um, wooden stud construction, and I actually decided to bring forth the house so you can actually see what it looks like with the cladding and everything on it. You can see the rooms are finished inside and everything versus all the unfinished rooms here. However, um, these two houses were um, made um, though the houses were made similarly in time, I, whenever I actually put the walls in, I wasn't all quite happy with the design of the house. So, you will, if you download both of them at the same time, you will see that there will be some changes made in terms of the wall placements. And generally, the speaking, the ideas are similarly the same. But you know what I mean. I mean, like this is still the living room still the living room and the dining slash kitchen is here no I mean the kitchen here and breakfast here's the formal dining room and here would be where the water here is could put that in the basement but I figured it was too much it was a little far so I put it close by. When you put a water heater next to some close to everything, things get hotter fast. So I did. Still have the basement, which I do in the regular house. See? Only I walled it in. Locked the door though, no one can go down there. And the bedrooms are in this are in similar placement. Actually, somehow made it where this is all a bed, all one room here I don't know, but I mean to be to tell you um, when you put these structural members in place it can take a long time to do so especially how I did it before, I didn't use com this is before I knew how to use components and make my own components and that sort of thing so basically I drew the walls and cut everything out individually not doing that again See the headers above the windows and doors? Headers just to add strength to the, what is above the windows and doors. Like in a real house. As you can see, let's take some of the things off. Um, let's see. Alright, so what you see here is, I mean, a raised foundation. Made of brick. And concrete. Concrete above it where all of the... You know where the rebar comes through? And then the rebar comes up through here, and this is where the bolts will be to hold on... Hold the frame in place. However, I didn't draw that here. Just because it would be too, it's just so much time and every and effort. I mean, I could do that now because I know how to, I use components now. But back in the time, I didn't. Now I can have an updated construction scene. Um, so to see where I am now. However, that will take a little while. So just sit tight. And as you can see, going through like any frame building, you know wood frame all around and the wood frame where the rooms are and you can see what I mean by changes right I mean I had things because now I know I the further I went into SketchUp and other houses you know the more in depth I come with design so I learn a few things and I so I change a few things too 
So the, yeah, so you see all the frames traditionally. Then you would see the headers above all of the frames. These are like your wall ties because then these will be holding the joists. And then joists will be resting above these. And the stairs basically are hanging. Yeah, like you said, I mean, I improved since, so. But in real life, I mean, stairs do tend to hang on the walls, on the sides. Because when I put the, let's see, layers. Uh, second floor joists. See, it's all just hanging, really. see all the joists basically now here what you would see in real life you'd see brackets holding these in place metal giant metal brackets so then these won't fall sometimes they do interlocking but you know and you also see how these just rest on top of the walls these you see would be bracketed to these um, ties on top Now, another thing that I learned since is that um, wherever you see walls, you'd see walls on top, you'd see like ties between the beams to hold up the walls. However, I mean, um, this is when I was really learning about the structure of the house, so. But don't worry, I mean, I will be, it will be changed, it will be better later. As you can see, because here I just put decking above all of this directly and then put the walls up. So we'll put the second floor in place. Now, as you can see, it's constructed just like the first story. Except there's a hole. Well, I mean, the first story had one too to go into the basement, but you know what I mean. But as you can see, you see this decking here. This went directly on top of the beams. Now, for um, walls to go perpendicular to the um, beams, it's okay. We don't need like special little ties. But as you can see, if it goes parallel with the beams, you will see it will need ties. Special ties, so then it's for support. As you can see, like for here, you'd see that there would be a tie. Go rit, 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 so this can rest on it. For increased strength, yeah, you'd see that. But now that I have the art of um, components, I can actually add them pretty quickly. And I might make an updated video. And, I mean, like I said, you know, in terms of changes. I even added a bathroom. Made a better closet. Two closets, actually. His and hers, plus linen. Now, if I really wanted to, I mean, this, if this, this would have been the, um, I would have put all this in here with made stud walls for all of these and boy would that have been a pain in my butt that would have been an utter pain no kidding no questions asked but I mean um, I made this house similar to when I made this but then over time I made changes to this without updating this that's what happened so yeah I mean as you can see like um, here would be your um, this would be the closet but here this would be your attic access like any real attic access usually you'd get a little deck here to put stuff on and then here would be beams under those would be the plus either dry boards to dry boards the gypsum to hold up the ceiling underneath it's really what it is and also you can see, um, 
Nick Joyce and Gables. Now, if you're wondering what these are, um, these are just these brackets here. That's all they are. In a real craftsman home, like in those stickly houses, you'd actually see that the beam would go all the way through because the brackets were actually ties. But um, today, you just nail them on for decoration. So you can see here, these would be just nailed on for decoration, but back in the day, these would actually go all the way through. And the brackets would be on the ends to hold the walls together. But as you can see, the beams here just rest, rest on these, but also, as far as I learned, you know, the beams would have notches. However, but when you walk in, you'd be like a real attic because you'd walk in, you'd see that there's a ceiling underneath you, and these beams here, then there'd be plywood decking above. And also, you'd see the backs of the gypsum boards for over for these rooms over here. Pretty cool, right? Well, maybe not this model, but um. In general, usually it is pretty cool. Now, inside here, what I showed is an attic here. However, um, ever since I've learned more about trusses, an update in future updates, um, I will add trusses to uh, to here because, accordingly, here is just a beam with uh, with joists resting on it. But to be a walk-in attic, you know, you got to have some space, but also you got to have the supports, too. So, I'm working on that currently. So, yeah, that's pretty much the house. But, so, it's just basically the structural members of a frame building. Traditional. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Have a great day, and there'll be more to come. All right, bye-bye.